everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you about Exter. Ooh, I got my new shipment of Exter. I'm very excited. I always love when I open the mailbox and my Exter is just hanging out in there. I got three this time. Look at the packaging. Like, how slick is the packaging? Bang, man. Just the packaging alone is dope. Check this out. So the first one we get is a Parliament wallet, which is my favorite wallet. It's the wallet that I use everywhere I go. It is my favorite wallet and has been my favorite wallet forever because it's got my tracker inside, so I never lose my wallet. It holds so many cards, holds cash, holds my Costco membership, holds my Tesla car key too. It's a little bit beat up, but like I kind of like that it's like kind of, now it's just, it's distressed, you know what I mean? Naturally, by, by nature and life. But let's take a look at this wallet. Ooh, look at this slick packaging. Oh, look at that tan leather. My favorite part? The haptics, the haptics. That is one you need to get. I'm, oh, I might replace my brown parliament with this one, like just for the spring. Maybe it's my spring wallet. That is so sexy. If you don't like the parliament, which can get, you know, I mean, even for a wallet that's holding probably 10 to 15 cards right now, that's still really slim. Here's the metal ones, the nice slim metal ones. Oh my. It's like a wine burgundy and it's got the extra one. You can put extra cards in here or some cash in there. So this thing slides out if you don't want it. There's a rubber thing on it. This one's got a little extra pep in it. That is a nice wallet, everybody. Look at that one. And now let's take a look at this sweet one that has this really, really nice packaging. <gasps> what? Oh, look at that. So that's a black slim metal wallet with that really, really funky looking design mm. you can't i just can't get over the haptics i love extra wallets these things are amazing don't forget they all come with rfid protection so it keeps your stuff safe people can't be stealing your stuff ripping you off they're sustainable environmentally friendly and sourced from really good material things like vegan italian leather that's mm. actually wow that's nice and the metal ones are space grade aluminum. Don't forget the solar powered tracking device I have inside my wallet, which is powered by Chipolo. I never lose my wallet. You put that in the sun for like 30 minutes, it's good to go for a long time. So this has been in the real world now for about a year and a half, still kicking, still going strong, a little bit worn and torn, just it's loved, you know? I had someone actually reach out to me who's a fan who only bought an extra wallet because I was talking about them on my channel. And she wanted to send one back and something got mixed up in the shipping and then she just reached out to Exter and Exter was incredible. She emailed me telling me that Exter went above and beyond in customer service and helped her out and she was super happy about it. And I love to hear that. Exter is a quality company, quality products. You need to get your hands on one. Valentine's Day sales coming up. So between January 24th and February 15th, you get 20% off. That's a pretty good deal. Not only do they have wallets, but they have the Weekender bag, which is my favorite. They've got the laptop bag, which is also my favorite. They've got bags that go inside of bags. They've got keychains. They've got keychain trackers, everything. If you're a person who loses your wallet, and that's another thing this person sent to me actually in the email. She said, my husband loses his wallet all the time. It's really stressful. And this, this Chipola thing helps you find your wallet. It's different than an AirTag too. I gotta say that. Even though some extra wallets come with AirTag holders, I prefer the Chipolo. I'm not kidding. Tech cases, camera cubes, it, you can get anything. And it's all really, really, really well made, high quality products. So if you're looking for an amazing gift for that special someone, Valentine's Day's coming up, summer's coming up, Saturday's coming up. This is a gift that anybody in your life's gonna love. Okay, if you've got a nurse in your life, these little slim metal wallets, not only are they RFID protective, but they're really, really good for nurses. They slip into your pockets. They're just perfect. They carry cards, they carry everything you need. They're amazing for nurses. I should know my wife's a nurse and she has the pink one. Not only are you getting a 20% discount for the sale that we're talking about right now for Valentine's Day, but if you use code DAD, you get an additional 5% off. It's 25%. That's an amazing deal on a wallet that will last you a very long time. And whenever it comes to my bros, my friends, relatives, this is the gift that I give them to. It is an amazing, amazing gift. So please do yourself a favor, visit the link below in the description or the first comment. Okay, get yourself 20% off for Valentine's Day sale. Use code DAD for an additional 5%. Exter is an incredible company. I love them. I've been working with them for a very long time. You will not be disappointed. Leave a comment below if you've bought an extra wallet. Let me know what you think. Because I want to hear all about it. Because you are amazing. And Exter also is amazing for sponsoring this video. So let's get to it.
Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy freaking Friday. How are you doing today? I'm happy you're here. We're going to talk about Doherty Dozen because it's Friday. We're going to spin the wheel because it's Friday. And if you are on my membership and above the first tier, you're on this wheel every week. And at the end of the month, every single member's on the wheel. So we're going to spin the wheel. We're going to dance on my new sneakers because I'm only going to wear them down here. Someone's going to win a prize. Yeah, baby. Tyson's dance. Toro eight star. Toro eight, Toro eight star. You win a prize. Reach out to Josh at the Dad Sean Podcast.com with your shirt size and your address, and I'm gonna hook you up. Let's go. Turn this up. So today's video is going to be a little bit more of a mashup. It's going to be, we're going to talk about Alex's birthday, what she bought, like the insanity that she's doing. Not really the gifts, but like the thing that she bought. You know what I'm talking about. It's the Oreos. You know what I'm saying. Um, we're going to talk about what they, what, you know, some what they fed themselves and everything else is disgusting. But we're going to open it up today with a little video about Brie. Now, she did a video today where she's shopping and she said this whole thing. She's like, what we're not going to do. I cannot believe I have to say this, but what we're not going to do. We're going to listen to her little rant about what we're not going to do. So let's start it with this video. She's shopping for Alex. This is today's video. She dropped this. Okay. And we're going to see, we're going to do a Tarantino. We're going to show you what she says, but we're going to go back. and I'm going to show you what she's taught, what people are talking about, what she's saying. And it like trigger warning is going to break your heart. Okay. Especially we know that Brie and James, one of the two sweetest kids in this house, I, I can't, I don't, I just, I'm gonna let you watch this. Let's see what she has to say first, and then we'll get into it. So I'm going to head home for today. I'll show you everything that I got on Amazon. And yeah, I think we're, we're doing pretty good. We're in a good place. Yeah, my All right, here we go. Water, congrats, Alicia. You're drinking water. Does anyone else have to write mom on their water so nobody takes that? Is someone going to take your water and not one of the four million that's in the garage? Is that what you're doing that for? Writing on there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we definitely have to do that, considering you just, your merp face here, and you go shopping all day all long. Nobody's with you ever. They'll still take it. They don't care. So why are you writing name on it, then? All right, I wanted to um, do a little PSA. Unfortunately, I can't believe I have to do this. Well, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do any of this at all. You don't have to do a PSA. Because anything that you tell us, Alicia, we don't listen to you because you are terrible. You are a terrible human. That's just, sorry, I don't know if anybody told you, but yeah. But here's what we're not going to do oh, this we're time. Not we are do. not going to size shame. Yeah, apparently that's a thing. Mm. Apparently that's also a thing that we brought into 2024. Who's we? And what? Um, yeah. After our last birthday, we had a lot of size shaming, and I just want you guys to know, like, in my house, we wear the size that makes us feel comfortable. Okay, so she's talking about buying Brie clothes that are like two sizes too big for her. Maybe Brie asked for those things. I don't know. I know that a lot of girls wear large clothes, so that's really not the issue. The issue I'm having with this whole thing is that she's like, can't believe I have to do this. Unless you wouldn't have to do this at all. There should be, there should be no shaming of your children. That's absolutely atrocious and disgusting. But the truth is that there are people on the internet who will do that, right? There are, there are disgusting buttholes who watch you, who will do that, who will say something about a kid. And you know what? It's not the snarky people in snark threads. Like kids are mostly almost exclusively off limits on those pages, especially for snark. If anybody were ever to say something disparaging about a child, and this happened, those, those people get lambasted in any of the Doherty does my Doherty doesn't for them, the other one, they get lambasted, okay? If that's a word, they get destroyed for it. So the kids aren't really the ones, but there are people on these channels and comments that you're getting, which is for, was what forced you to make this video, that they will see. And you're, you're out here trying to be like, oh, I'm gonna tell the internet that you can't do that to my daughter. Now, I agree with you, Alicia, this shouldn't be a thing, right? Kids are off limits, These and these kids are all victims all of them until they become adults 
and decide to, you know, do what they want to do with that fame. Now, Alex is going to be an adult. I think he already is, right? And he's going to want to push this and go on to the next level. He becomes an adult in this space and he doesn't have to do it. But that's for another time. But there would be no disparaging comments if your children weren't on the effing internet. Okay? There is no reason for them to be there. So, and I'm not, and you know, people are going to be like, well, that's victim blaming. No, no, no. These children are exploited at home. They are, they are fed a steady diet of absolute garbage all day long. We're talking three pound chocolate bars, 45 pounds of candy, and then more candy, and then more cereal, then more sugar, then just more bread. She's not giving them anything in her life. And people are going to be starting to notice these things. Like her kids are, are, her kids are victims in all of this in every single way. They're victims of negative comments from strangers, from sexual comments from strangers. Alex is bullied relentlessly online, but, and she never blocks those accounts. It's really weird. Alex has made fun of all the time for like his acne and things that are just normal teenage things. And she never, you know, we're not going to do a zit shame on here. She never says anything like that. Now, I'm glad she's going to bat for Brie here because Brie deserves it, right? But it's generally when it comes to Brie, she says these things really weird because the kids all get made fun of, like not all the time, but like on her comments all the time. Okay, or they're, they're ungrateful or this and that, the other thing, okay? They get made fun of all the time. But the only other time I've ever heard her do this, complain about this, was when the doctor was talking about Bree's weight. I'm pretty sure it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. The doctor was talking about her weight at a, a checkup, and she was complaining in a video, just going off about the doctor, weight shaming one of the kids. Now, it's a doctor's responsibility, if anybody's, to tell you if your kids are unhealthy. Right? And if a doctor's telling you that, Alicia, you should listen. But what does Alicia do? Nope, she doubles down with the diet she gives us kids. She admitted on a camera that the doctor said, your children are unhealthy, you gotta fix it, and complained about it, and then doubled down what she fed them. Think about that for a second. To pay back this doctor, she's like, F that, I know better for these kids. And she doesn't, by the way, because she exploits them. So there is no reason for her to do this video if she didn't exploit these children to begin with. Okay, and Brie is one of the sweetest kids in this whole family, again, I told you, I constantly tell you guys, she reminds me so much of my daughter and it breaks my heart when we're seeing the video we're about to see, okay? And so Alicia's sitting here having to say this because Alicia puts them on the internet. It's the same with predators, okay? They exist on this platform. Same with people who are gonna make fun of your daughter's weight. They exist on this platform. So why would you put them on the platform? Why would you exploit them more? If that ever happened to anybody who is a good parent, for some reason you put it on there and then somebody did something or said something or was predatory towards a, a parent who was worth their salt, a parent who was good, who protected their kids would be like, that's it. This is never happening again. They're off the internet. And it's happened a lot. Okay. But she doesn't, she just doubles down and says, well, let me, let me, let me say what we're not going to do. Like, we, we, you think they're going to listen to you? You have no business saying this because you're the reason it's happening. You're the problem here, Alicia. You're the issue. None of this happens to your children without you enabling everything that you enable. That makes us confident and happy. And I don't care what that letter is and I don't care what that number is. That doesn't matter to us. Like enough with the size shaming. I can't even believe I have to say this. You don't have to say this, right? And it's funny that of all the negative comments you get, this is what you focus on. She gets negative comments every single day. Just delete and move on like you always do. Why bring this here? She's doing this on purpose, again, for the clicks and the views, for the outrage it's gonna cause. She's rage baiting people, and of course we are enraged. We should be. She's exploiting this child, in, and then she's and then she's trying to be virtuous by being here protecting her daughter. Oh, I'll go to you, I'll go toe to toe with you guys. When, in the reality, she's exploiting her further by pointing it out and putting it on the internet. Okay? And most people weren't size shaming, not that I saw anyway, about Bree's size. They were like, why are you, they were shaming you for not putting any thought into what you buy your children. For just the day before, going to buy a bunch of crap. That's what they're shaming you for. You don't care. You're a terrible person. But she took that to say, well, you're size shaming. And she's talking about the size of the clothes. Now, again, people were just like, why are you giving your kid 2XL clothes like 14 times too big for her? They weren't shaming 
the daughter directly, they were shaming your stupid gift ideas. But again, she turned it around and look what she did there. She, she assumed it was something, which it likely wasn't. And then she made it about the other thing so she could virtue signal and made it worse, by the way. You think Brie wants her coming on the internet and doing this? She's disgusting for doing this. Anyways, for the rest of you, I love you all. Oh, but I love you. <laughs> so that video happened, but that's because of this video. And so here's how we know that this really does affect Brie, right? And obviously I've got her face blurred here, but you've got to listen to what happens. There. She's opening a present. She's got a towel on her head. Listen to what Brie says here. And again, I'm, this is going to piss you off. And then the kids have adopt me penguins. The random kids through showers, well, most of them. And now Rhea's gonna open her clothes. And let's stop here for a second and tell you, again, nobody is around when these kids open their gifts. There is no family involved. Kids are doing their own thing. It's like, here, open your, open your presence on camera. Your brother and sisters don't have to be here. Nobody has to be around us. This is your special day, but F all that. Just open your presents for strangers instead. So the kids don't have to come down and be there as a part of the thing. And I hate that she does this, by the way, you know that. Okay, this is a special time for Brie. Fem family should be around. Okay, I know she's opening a million presents, I get that. But instead of that, instead of forcing her kids to be around and just appreciating it together, she then instead films it and shares it with strangers on the internet instead. For money. Do you want to take your paper towel off or you good? I'm good. Okay. I don't care if they make fun of me, but we're just vlogging, so. <laughs> I'm going to play that again for you. Listen to what she says. I don't care if they make fun of me, she says. We're just flocking, so. Hear that a second. I, and, I. It's making me, uh, this makes me really upset. I don't care if they make fun. She's talking about comments, strangers on the internet, who she knows makes fun of her how does she know that and then alicia what does alicia do she chuckles she chuckles this kid who is the most innocent awesome amazing little girl who deserves so much better than what she's getting in this house who needs so much more okay knows that there are strangers on the internet that will make fun of her for what she's wearing or what she's got on whatever knows it and Alicia chuckles at it. And then does a video where she's like, what we're not gonna do is sign shame. Okay? This, this right here is a perfect example of why Alicia needs to get off the internet. At the very minimum, stop putting her children on the internet. Take them off completely. She basically, for all intents and purposes, unless it's a birthday or a special event anyway. Well, no, that's a lie. I keep saying that she's she's backtracked a little bit, but she hasn't. She still does the roll calls. She still does every birthday. She still does every event. Nothing has changed. I don't know why I kept saying that before, because nothing has. The only thing that's really changed is that these videos don't get as many views as they did before, and she gets all her views on the shopping stuff. So, unless you could still make all of your money without showing your kids completely, because these aren't even the videos that get you a lot of views. But what she does is she rage baits. She does this on purpose. She, le she left that in on purpose. That's really shameful. You can't see Bree's face here, but it's the most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't care if they make fun of me. This child, this innocent child who didn't ask for this is forced onto the internet and is the butt of people's jokes and knows it. This is why Alicia should not be honored with sponsorships. You think Sunny D's out there being like, I'm oh, really glad that your kids are made fun of. We're really excited about this, right? And, and Sunny D enables this because they pay her to do this, to show her children, to put them in Sunny D shirts, okay? So in this house, there will never be Sunny D ever consumed ever again. Never, ever again. Unless they stop sponsoring this type of person and stop sponsoring child exploitation and, and apologize for what they have done because they are directly responsible for enabling this type of behavior. For her to stick a tripod in a room while there's someone in the back on their phone, no kids around, opening presents for strangers on the internet, for creeps and weirdos who will make fun of a child. Shame on Life360 for enabling this type of behavior to and paying her hundreds of thousands of dollars. Shame on the people who watch this and leave good comments and like positive comments for her to read. 
and like go to bat for this type of behavior. Shame on you. Shame on the people who like, you're such a good mom for feeding your kid nothing but absolute trash and garbage every single day of the week. Look, we're all parents. We all feed our kids junk to a degree. We, I understand that. But nothing in my life have I ever seen anything like this in my entire life. And we're going to see that in a minute when we snark on our shopping video to Walmart. Alicia is a disgusting piece of trash. And this is all the proof and evidence you need, even if you didn't have the other proof and evidence, like the kids with the chain countdown of the dad getting out of jail, or the kids being tied up in their bed to sleep so they don't want to run around. Or, or James getting blackmailed and her admitting it on camera. Or the million other things that we've uncovered on this channel. Probably the tax evasion. Sewer gate that's coming up. She said she spent $100,000. Looks like she spent like maybe $2,000. Okay, the lies, everything, just all. Doherty doesn't. The con, if we just did a video just on every lie she made, and maybe I'll do that. It's going to take an hour. Okay, to get into the detailed lies that she has made over the times that she's been on here. And the only victim here are always going to be the children. It is disgusting. And Alicia, you need to stop it. So now let's switch over to the snark, the shopping snark. Even though we're a little bit pissed, we should be a little bit pissed, but we still get the snark on her because she deserves every bit of snarking and her ugly ass thumb. Okay. So let's uh, look at this video and let's see what she buys. This is Family 13 Walmart haul. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 13. But first, coffee. Here's this week's dinner menu that we made together as a family. Yeah, Alex is Birky. We can't wait oh, to eat. To celebrate Alex's 18th birthday on Wednesday. So did his birthday vlog drop today? Is that what happened? I don't know. Cause you know it's gonna be 20 grand. It'll be actually interesting to see if it is 20 grand because she spent some like 30,000 on friggin' D's birthday, which is 26,000 or something insane. We have the file. You can go look at dadchallengepodcast.com, scroll down, you can see the file. So Alex's 18th birthday shopping. Okay. And here's the thing. She knows she got just roasted for the Oreos. And so what does she do? She makes a thumbnail with the Oreos. So let's get to the this a little bit. There I added in breakfast and lunch every day to make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. James added a couple things to my list since then and he is making dinner and dessert tonight so I'm pretty excited. Let's go. It's 6 21 in the morning. Back at Walmart. What happened to Wegmans? It's an interesting... When's the last time she went to Wegmans? I'm looking here. Last time she went to Wegmans. I don't think it's, I think it's been a long time. Oh no, she went to Wegmans two weeks ago. So she went there. So she's not, not going to Wegmans, but she's going other places. Kurt Wynn! Okay, cut to the, cut it! This is an hour and 15 minutes long. It doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't get more money when it's longer, by the way, everybody. She's just so lazy, she doesn't want to cut things. I am going to start with the toiletries. We need washcloths. Carrot Say it. I am Say it. That these industrial washers at the laundromat eat our washcloths. They probably, yeah, they do. Idiot, really. That sucks. Okay. Um, breeze shampoo. I she didn't say shampoo. cart one. Okay, whatever. Let's fast forward to the junk food. Okay, here we go. This is what people are up in arms about. So let's watch this. Alex's birthday. He wants an Oreo snacker board. Probably said, just get me an Oreo. So we are just going to get every single Oreo. Snack. See, you want an Oreo snack board? Fine. Here's like three packs, right? We'll put it all nicely. We'll do something fun. But she doesn't buy three packs. Okay. Well, watch what not she does. Every single, but you know what I mean. No, you buy every single. Cheetos. Yeah, Five, four fifty for a thing of. Oh, it's family size. Okay. That's, that's expensive, right? For US? Get ready. 
Yes, buddy. Dark chocolate? I've never tried the dark chocolate. I'm like miffed after watching that thing with Brie. Now everything she's doing compounded like hatred for what she does because of what because of what her kids are forced to go through. Mint. Yes, please. Again, it sounds like you like these. No one else does. Like, maybe part of me is jealous, but we have like four kinds of Oreos in Canada. And maybe once in a blue moon we'll get like, like the Cinnabon ones, and they're really good. This is crazy. <laughs> I blame your country. Okay, gotta get with the regular. The mega stuff. Definitely get the mega stuff. Double stuff. Oh my god! Your thumb. I hope someone walks by and is like, I'm calling the police. Oh my gosh, man. Hey, that's enough right there. That's plenty. Let's get some of these thins. Yeah, I better get some of those. You guys said these were good, but how can they be good? The good stuff's in the middle. We'll try them though. Oh my gosh. Don't unless you try. Go. She's, again, she's trolling everybody. She's rage baiting right here. She knows what she's doing. She's doing this because she knows she's going to go a little bit viral on the internet. For, for, but the thing is, she goes viral on the internet for poisoning her children. That's the problem here, everybody. It's not just a spaghetti table we can make fun of. Fun, blah, waste all, throw it in the garbage. This is like rage baiting. Look how bad of a parent I am. Look how, look how I mistreat my children. Look at that I force feed them the most absolute garbage ever. I make them addicted to sugar and nothing but sugar. And like, look at me. That she's rage baiting at her children's health expense. Do you know what I mean? Cakesters. The one man with the golden double staff. Uh, what's this hidden gem? And again, it makes me so upset because you know she's there like, I can't wait to see what these people say about this. I can't wait to get the hate. She can't wait. And you don't think Alex is going to get bullied at school for buying him 4,000 Oreos? This would... This, okay, if you ate all these Oreos, you would die. <laughs> like I'm, This is insanity. I'm not saying the kids are going to eat them all because there's no physical way for them to eat them all. She's going to literally waste most of this. That's also, She should also piss people off in this world where some people are choosing between electricity and groceries, between rent and water bills. Between, you know, going to work and staying home. like This is the this is the time where she just, like, shouldn't do this stuff. She wants so badly to be virtuous. She wants so badly to, for you guys to think that she's a good person. And yet every single time, she, she proves that she cannot be a good person. And she's, I don't know if she wonders why, or is it done on purpose? Oreo Unbelievable. Cosmic cream. Why do you... We can read it. Why do you hover over and read it? Because she puts it. Oh my god. Unbelievable. By the way, unfreaking believable. Here's what my good. I think we've got a good variety. It's a delicious holiday. Got a good quality. You got one of everything. And so look, she had to show it, and now she has to put it back in normal. Like, ooh, this isn't normal behavior. 
This is, needs to be in front of Congress. See, she did that so she could take a picture for the... T oh, 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 God. I hate this movie. You don't deserve to be a mom. Um, I'm good on lunch chips. I got those. Are you good on lunch chips? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So she just goes through and then buys a bunch, whole bunch more junk. That's all she does. It's just absolute... Look, 14,000 bottles of... Or, box of Velveeta, just her regular garbage that she completely just always just is disgusting. And then we go to uh, this one today. Here's what... So obviously she's gonna, you know, she's waiting for Alex's birthday. Um, she did Bree's birthday. She did three parts to Bree's birthday. Three parts. That's how many presents she got, which is great. Whatever. But like, this is what she fed on Alex's birthday. Now she's obviously gonna release Alex's birthday tomorrow. The birthdays get her a lot of views. The shopping gets her a lot of views. Everything else doesn't get her any views. She hates, like, she stopped doing it. Because it's the same video over and over again. White bread with ketchup. You gotta stop. But this is what she feeds. on. It's because it's a special day. Every single day. It's like, it's. I can understand if it was that you eat whatever, you know, this type of stuff on a birthday. I know they have 11 kids. It happens 11 times a year plus girls. Okay. But it's every day. That's the thing. Here's what my 11 kids ate today on Alex's birthday. For breakfast. Donuts. He surprise, surprise. Requested Dunkin' Donuts. For lunch, he wanted Chick-fil-A. I set out a variety of Oreos. And this is, I guess, in the shopping video, which we're going to cover in another day. But she went, not only did she get all Walmart's cookies, but she went to a, like a specialty Oreo store and bought like a million other Oreos. For their after school snack. Again, that's a, one box, one box of those cookies is perfect for an after, they, they, they don't need 400 cookies each. That's the thing. She got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cookies for a snack. After donuts and br greasy breakfast sandwiches, after Chick-fil-A greasy chicken sandwiches and french fries, then you're going to eat 400 Oreos? For dinner, we went out to eat at Texas Day Brazil with our friends and family. The only hot meal these kids ever get is when they go to a restaurant. They have a giant salad and charcuterie salad. station. Okay, we see the station. And then they walk around with a whole bunch of different meats to serve. <laughs> and then they walk up. A Her laugh talk thing when she like narrates these things makes me irrationally angry. And then they with me. You at the table. And we have a selection of cakes for dessert. Bon appetit. Just what you needed. Happy 18th birthday, Alex. And you gotta look at this stuff like uh, she's again only when she shops and when she sh and the reason why she gets so many views is because it's a train wreck and what she buys is disgusting. It's, and it's the only thing she has left. She has to spend a thousand dollars, eleven hundred, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars for this video. Let's go back a few weeks, like a month. On her shopping videos, right? Family of mini haul. Okay, so let's go to a real haul. What's going to cost her like a thousand? So, Walmart haul, one hundred fifty-seven thousand views. She likely made twelve hundred dollars on that video. Not kidding, but twelve hundred bucks. So she probably didn't make any money because she spent twelve hundred. But if she's writing it off as a tax thing, it's fine. But she still doesn't get that money. Does that make sense to you guys? Like. She's not making the money she used to make. 600, 700,000 views. She used to make 45 million views a month. I'm like, it was insanity. And now anything she makes, all these little ones, if she's not actually spending money, they do add up a little bit. She's still making great money. Don't get me wrong, but she's, she's not making as much and she's spending more because the only thing that gets her views is shopping for garbage. That's it. That's all she does. Like she did three parts to this kid's birthday. Look, Bree's 13th birthday recap which is only a minute 13, part two, where's Bree's part one? See, Bree's birthday part one, 100,000 views, 60,000 views, 25,000 views. And if you go to the hall, I think it's this one. So she did this where we talked about no size shaming. People aren't commenting on the 4 million Oreos she bought. What they're commenting is on, absolutely agree, Alicia, no size shaming. Again, they're not shaming her size as a child. They're shaming the clothing size you bought her. You're an idiot because she probably looks silly and clothes are three times too big for her. Now, if she asked for those, that's a different story. I don't know. 
Maybe she did. But we know that Alicia doesn't give any thought into anything. And it's she maybe she feels guilty because she thinks that, I don't know, something's coming down the bike. She's giving her clothes that she won't grow it over or whatever. I don't know. But Alicia, if you didn't buy your kids 4,000 Oreos, think they'd be okay. So, see, they're, they're so proud of you for addressing the size shaming. There are too many people in this world that have confidence issues. So, your daughter has confidence issues. Let's, let's be real. Any kid going through puberty has confidence issues. Like, boy and girl. Mostly girls, probably, though. More than guys. Okay, so what your solution is, is to put her on the internet where she knows she's being bullied and, and force her to do that. Because what if one of these kids, and I'm sure it's one of them has said, I don't want to open my presence on camera. You think Alicia would let them? And it is crazy that she lets absolute strangers and not her kids be a part of this, but strangers to be a part of this special moment. Ugh! I didn't see no size shaming. I seen people said she brought her too big of clothes for her birthday, which wouldn't be size shaming. It was just saying mom didn't get the right size. I'm amazed at all the different flavors of Oreos. She's obviously deleting comments. Like, because the, the amount of Oreos she buys would get would would absolutely render, like, thousands of hate comments. But she's got a video here with 20,000 views and 366 comments. She just deletes everything. So here's a, don't listen to haters. You're a great mom. No, she's not a good mom. And it's Alicia. They're not hating on Alicia here, everybody. They were hating on Alicia's purchase, but if Alicia thinks they were hating on Brie for her size, then Alicia should have just left it alone, deleted the comments. She wants the smoke. She wants her kids to be the brunt of this. She thrives in it because it makes her money. It's appropriate to be concerned with a content creator who buys very unhealthy foods in large amounts consistently for their children. Agreed. Let's see what people said about the Oreo video. Again, she's getting back up to the... Her ratio of dislikes are back up. I think she was looking for that. 3.7 thousand downvotes for 3.4 thousand upvotes. That's crazy. That's a huge ratio. Okay, she's got 75,000 views on this video, 700 comments. <laughs> if I have a video with 75,000 views on it, I'm getting like 12, 15, maybe 2,000 comments. It's crazy. Why'd you get those two boxes of cookies when you already bought eight boxes of Oreos? She bought way more than eight boxes of Oreos. She bought like 30 boxes of Oreos. See, there's no comments. There's very rarely a comment about the Oreos that she's probably deleting. I don't understand. She wants the smoke. She wants the hate, but why should she delete the comments? No, no comments on Oreos. That's I, I'm mind blown. There should be only comments on Oreos in this video. That's crazy to me. She, why is she deleting all the things about the Oreos? That's okay. We have the Reddit thread and you just go, Doctor doesn't expose Reddit. Check it out. This is from my mod. You female share their lives without the thought process to stop. You are the individual that sets these kids up for failure. You play victim and the children, are the only ones that suffer. Here's your effing PSA. F you. You're a disgusting vile human mother with no one to blame, but your effing self. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, my viewers unit. <laughs> it's a good comment, though. And so here's the one more about this. No one was size shaming Bria. They were shaming the fact that she ordered three sizes too big because she's an idiot. Also, here's an idea. Don't share your kids' sizes online. They won't get shamed for their size. It's a good point. She must be the stupidest human on the planet. She's also a kid that's into fashion, but she orders her sweatpants. Seriously, she's the one buying that poor girl size 1X clothes when she's small. She's the one that's going to ruin that girl's confidence. That is exactly what she said it, though. I'm sure she doesn't care if people shame the kids. She cares that she was shamed for buying the kids clothes that are too big. The comments that are mean or nasty towards kids. Again, Alicia just is looking for this. She wants to do those videos. She wants to say those things. She wants to cause controversy. And she uses her kids to cause the controversy. This is the familiar tactic, twisting others' words to make herself the victim. She's a master manipulator. It's also really good content for people who don't see the original comments to understand what's actually being said. They'll assume the kids were body shamed and back her. Imagine what she's like to deal with personally. No wonder she has no friends and she doesn't have any friends. No friends. None. She used to have some though. Isn't she the same person who called her large son a dupe for P Peter Griffin? And one of her kids was FSD a dupe for Sid the Sloth? Yes, actually she is. She did make the dupe video where she did say that. So she's absolutely a piece of trash. Good point. Thanks for pointing that out. Her, and her lecturing audience while she puts on hand cream like she's scolding someone. This is what's called projection. Lush is taking criticism many shared about her buying the wrong size, turning around and tossing it back to reviewers is the, the problem that they caused. Anyway. Not very snarky today, but I'm just pissed because she just keeps getting away with it. She keeps doing this and she keeps making a criminal money. Don't forget Sun and Sky Entertainment. She's These kids are locked in. I hope Alex gets out of his contract as soon as he turns 18. But they're locked in until they're at least 18 for content under Sun and Sky Entertainment is run by a criminal. By the way, he took $22 million and went to jail for it. A literal criminal. 
So don't forget that she's got these kids tied up with criminals. She does. She's lied about so many things. She's thrown her kids under the bus so many times. She exploits them for so many ways. And she wants this. She wants people to say these things so that she can comment on them and get more views on it. Stop watching. Even hate watching. It's not helping. Hate watching makes it worse. My haters too. They watch every syllable, every word, every blink. Thanks. You know. But I'm telling you guys, don't even hate watch. It's not worth it. You got to, like, Alicia, you've got to stop doing this. It's never too late for a redemption arc to turn the page and say, look, you guys were right. I feed my kids nothing but garbage and crap, and I don't want them on here anymore because they're being bullied. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to make this whole lifestyle change. I'm going to get some professionals in to help us. It's going to be amazing. You can still make content out of it. You absolutely can. And you can you can be that hero that, everybody, that you want everybody to think you are. It's so weird that she wants to be virtuous. She wants to be this person that's like, you're a gig mom, but then will never ever make a good choice for her children, ever. And the fact that there are people still in the comments and you're such a good mom, she bought a thousand Oreos for kids for a snack. This isn't like we're going away for two weeks. This is an afternoon snack. Be pissed, everybody. Be more pissed, okay? Everybody take a deep breath with me. <sighs> Thank you for being here for these conversations, share this video. This is the one that needs to get out there. These are the ones that are most important. Where we're not just being all snarky and funny, but we're actually exposing the lies and the realness and the grossness of all this. This is the one that everybody should see. She should be shamed for this, okay? And also you should head over to Exeter and use my code DAD, 5% off, Valentine's Day deal. Don't miss it, okay? It's pretty cool. Thank you, Exeter, for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for being valuable. Protect your kids, okay? Please, for the love of Pete, protect your kids. Don't ever do this to your children, okay? And don't watch this. I will see you when I see you. Burn this up.